Hello and welcome back uh, with me, Bloody Doves, the creator of BTA, or Battle Dragon Commands 3062, also known as BTA, and I'm here today to talk about the character creation screen for the commander when you start a new career. So when you start a new career, you have the difficulty settings, which I did another video on, you can check that out. But when you finish, after you do the difficulty settings and the game does some loading, you get to this screen, which is your character creation screen. Uh, this is the, where you create your commander, and you get to decide your portrait, and you get to decide your backgrounds, your character origins, and your background stats, and your name, and call sign, and some of your skills, and some of the various things. So I'm going to go through all of this, explain what everything is here. And then we're going to go through all the options in each of these dropdowns, because they all do different things. So, the first option is, before, before becoming a mercenary, you came from somewhere. And these are all places in the setting. They're all physical locations. Uh, they're all space nations, basically. Each of these is from... Each of these has two real effects. Effect one is each one gives you a modification to your stats. So, like, Magistrate of Canopius gives you plus one piloting and plus one tactics, which changes your starting stats. Uh, and all of these have, you know, changes to that. So, you know, Larens are gunnery and guts, and the Outworlds is guts and tactics, and so on and so forth. Uh, however, the second effect is that these uh, modify some of the last option, and we'll get to that in a minute. But keep that in mind. This links with one of the two of the options on here. We'll come back to that. Your second option is before starting your company, you used to be a blank, and there are six choices: it's aerospace pilot, bounty hunter, officer trainee, off-world racer, off-world smuggler, and special operative. These also adjust your stats, but more importantly, they give you a unique passive skill. Uh, you can see if you mouse over the orange text, you read this, it tells you, you know, what an aerospace pilot does, but the very bottom you'll see it says passive. The commander gains a 5% sprint speed bonus. These are all unique passives. They show up in combat under your commander's passive abilities, if you want to look at them there. And you can find out what you that is by, you know, going here and just mousing over the thing. You know, the bounty hunter is a, a call shot bonus. The off officer trainee is plus two resolve whenever you gain resolve. It's a resolve bonus. Off-world racer, you know, you get plus 30 to your unsteady threshold in any mech you pilot, so you're harder to knock down with stability damage. The smuggler gains plus 10% sensor range, so you can see people from a further distance. And special operative gets plus two accuracy at maximum range with weapons. These are all very minor update. They're all very minor, you know, abilities. But they're there and they're free and you get one because you have to take one of these. You get one for guaranteed. So, when you're looking at it, you not only look at the stats, but you also look at the ability. And again, if you ever want to see it, just mouse over this text and it will be at the bottom there. Then finally, the most impactful option is you would not make it this, this far without your something. And there's a bunch of options here. We'll go through all of them. There's five... There's ten options. Uh, these are all unique, random, uh, semi-random, unique bonus choices that give you something kind of fun. So, Pioneering Comrades, for instance, gives you the BTA crew, which is a big group of pilots for that are based on the team members that help me make Baltic Advanced, and each of those pilots has a unique ability, and you can see them in their passive uh, abilities in combat. Life Savings gives you some extra morale and a Big pile of money, three x three million extra sea bills because sea bills are fun. Great reputation gives you six hundred reputation with the mercenary review board. Uh, that's kind of a minor one, but what that does is it, it lets you hire better pilots out of the gate from the um, from the hiring hall because pilots are often gated by MRB reputation. Up engine dropship gives you plus two tech points and makes you your ship give, gives your ship a unique, uh, unobtainable other ways. Um, speed boost when you're flying between systems. It's small. It's a small boost, but it's an extra boost that you can't get anywhere else. Ancestral Mech. So, Ancestral Mech gives you an extra light mech. It's assembled a couple days after you start the career. Now, remember when I said that the, the background location would come back again? Well, this is where it happens. Each of these background locations gives you a different light. Ties into this option gives you a different light mech. So, the light make you get from the Outworlds Alliance is not the light make you get from the Draconis Combine. Now, I believe there's a list of this on the wiki, which is, you can find the BTA wiki at bta3062.com. Uh, 3062, not, don't have to spell it out. Uh, but you can find the list, I believe you can find it there. 
If not, let me know down in the comments and we'll get it up there. Well, each of these has a different different background choice. That will give you a different bonus light mech. Radio Crowd gives you some new pilots. Hardball, Announcer, Harmony, Tex, and Grandpa Tex. These are all pilots with unique voice lines we've added to the game. Hardball has the voice of Elias, Eli, Elias Tufay, who is most famous for being Adam Jensen in the, days, the new Deus Ex games. He's also in Hairbrain Schemes Battletech as Con Colonel Samuel Ostergaard from the campaign. Announcer has the voice of George Ledoux, who is most famous for being Duncan Fisher from MechWarrior 4. Harmony is a streamer and great voice actor uh, by the name of Chaotic Harmony. Tex and Tex and Grandpa Tex are both voiced by Tex of the Black Pants Legion, who does a good long-form Battletech uh, story content on YouTube. Again, look up the Black Pants Legion and look for Tex Talks Battletech. Tex is his normal voice, and Grandpa Tex is him doing a silly Grandpa voice. Tank Crew gives you three Ronin, uh, Axel, Blaze, and Phantom. These are just tank pilots. Uh, these pilots are just tankers. They're not they're not special anyway, but they are guaranteed vehicle pilots. So if you want to do a vehicle start, you can guarantee that you get three vehicle pilots so you can drive all your tanks. Original Adventurers gives you Medusa, Behemoth, Decker, and Glitch. The original four pilots from the Vanilla Games campaign. They are the four pilots you start with in the original campaign. Again, nothing special about them, but... They're there, and some people like them, so we, we made an option for it. Sharp Negotiating gives you the airdrop beacons. Uh, BTA recently introduced a series of new items called the airdrop beacons and the strafe and run comp suite that allow you to call in AI-controlled support units from the sky. So you can call them in and they'll drop a, you know, a battle mech or a tank onto the battlefield that will fight on your, you know, it will fight on your side against the enemies. Um, and this gives you all of the items that enable that functionality. They're just added to your, they're added to your mech bay. And then lastly is this man's tank, which is, gives you a bonus tank, based again on your background. So if you are a Canopian, you get a different tank than if you are Rimward Periphery, than if you are Deep Periphery, so on and so forth. You just get a different tank. And there you go. That's all the options. Finally, you know, this is pretty self-explanatory. You can edit name and appearance. You can change your voices. You can change your pro choice of pronoun. You can change your first name, last name, make word call sign. And then you've got our big selection of pictures to choose from. Most of these are static pictures. Some of them, however, are still the HPS random generated pilots that you can actually change. Most of them, though, are, you know... You can't, can't customize this guy because he's a fixed picture. But most of them, you know, if you still want to have one of those random gen pilots, they're in here. You can you can pick one of them and change the face. Do all the things you could in vanilla. And if you don't want to do that, well, then you can be this guy. Or this lady. Or this dude. You know, you got options. But anyway, that is... That is the character summary page. I... Uh, this is all self-explanatory, but you know, all these, now you've got all the info. If you got any questions, feel free to ask in the comments down below, and I'd be happy to answer your questions. And I look forward to seeing you playing BTA and seeing you in the comments. I will catch you later. Everyone have a great one. Bye-bye.